I've been talking with Dr. Ross Williams about nutrition and one of the best things that you can do for your health is to start a fitness program. Now physical activity, it can help reduce your risk of chronic disease, it can improve your balance and coordination, it can improve your sleep habits, your self-esteem, and of course help you lose weight. My next guest this morning has some great fitness tips and I think she'll also give you a little inspiration to make that trip to the gym. Irina, thank you for being with me this morning. Hi, thank you for having me. Here. You're welcome. Now, Irina, you have something mm -hmm. really exciting coming up in November. It's called Muscle Mania. Mm -hmm. You're going to be participating in this. Yes. Tell our viewers about Muscle Mania. Well, Muscle Mania, basically, it's a big fitness competition. There is um, a lot of different categories. There is bodybuilding from men, women, fitness modeling for men and women. And what is great about it, there is no age limit. There is nothing can really limit you, except you wanna, if you wanna do it, you gotta work hard and um, go towards the goals. And I practically myself wanna do two categories. I wanna do fitness modeling mm -hmm. and I wanna do bikini category, which is more feminine. You still have to be fit and you have to be in a great shape, but you don't have to have lots of muscle definition mm -hmm. and be really heavy build like a bodybuilder. Okay, okay, so that's the categories mm -hmm. that you're gonna be in. Now tell our viewers what you're doing right now to prepare you for this competition. What um, my basic plan, um, I like to go to gym, mm -hmm. I like to work with weights, I like to do the cardio, Plus, I do like to do different activities, not mm -hmm. only limit myself on lifting weights and do a treadmill work. I do lots of dance classes myself personally. I, gonna, I go in to take the yoga classes, do pedalboard, um, just a scuba diving, uh, kickboxing, and everything is um, the whole thing together. This is what makes the difference mm -hmm. because you can. Um, put yourself in a same old, same old routine right. and then you're not really progressing anywhere. But when you constantly challenge your body with different things, mm -hmm. uh, different dance class, different, even different yoga class, right. it all will engage different muscles in your body and mm -hmm. will help you get further towards your goal. Mm -hmm. And now that sounds fun to mm -hmm. me, like, you know, kickboxing, the dance yeah. classes biking that's not working out that's more having fun isn't it it is it is a lot of fun i love kickboxing mm -hmm. especially like kickboxing with my husband mm -hmm. is a lot of fun <laughs> to so beat him up right, that's good <laughs> so you're making your fitness activities fun irena and i i know that it's important for our viewers if they don't want to go to the gym i mean going to the gym sometimes it's boring or it's more of a chore instead mm -hmm. of something that you want to do. So yes. what tips would you have mm -hmm. for people who kind of are in that rut of not wanting to go? Well, I would say um, try to do as much as of a different activities. Find something you really like. If you like dancing, go and try a few different dance classes. In Key West, we have so many, such a big variety of dance studios. Uh, you can try to do the yoga, which is a little bit more calm than, than dancing. You can try kickboxing classes, pedalboarding, kayaking, just go and swim, mm -hmm. take a bike ride. And um, there is so many things you can do, fun things. Just try and see what fits most for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and what you enjoy the most. And sometimes, you know, it's fun to go to gym and work out. You make new friends and it's not just about to do something you have to do. Mm -hmm. It's something about to make it fun. And if you find workout body or if your spouse or your friend or your family member want to go and do it with you, it's a great help. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. does help a lot. Okay. And now what about your diet during the times that you're working out mm -hmm. for your competition? I don't know. I basically eat healthy mm -hmm. through, the t uh, through the year around. I'm not a big fan of junk foods. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to keep myself with uh, vegetables, everything healthy, uh, high amount of protein, high amount of vegetables. I limit fruit because it's a sugar. You limit fruit? Yeah, okay. just because sugar, it's a carbohydrate mm -hmm. and it will make you gain weight. But I would not be limited until like 
month in advance in advance of my event. Mm -hmm. um, this is when I have to really lose a lot of water weight and a lot of body fat. And I try to um, start about three months before my event. So mm -hmm. I have a s time slowly get my body ready. Mm -hmm. No crash diets, nothing really extreme. And when in the last month I will cut a few things out, like a fruit, um, uh, some simple carbs, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. simple carbs great sometimes have to work out because they will lift your blood sugar and make you feel good again, not that tired. Mm -hmm. But like before the competition, I will limit them so I kind of can lose my body fat faster and uh, lose my water weight too. Okay, well, wonderful. Well, we wish you the best of luck at your competition Thank you coming very up much. on November 4th. Thank you. And I know these pictures of you in the gym, it makes mm -hmm. me want to head to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break right now, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after these messages.